In 1968, the theoretical crisis that had ripped through academia was replaced by the crisis of society. In the Paris of 68, pent-up frustration over poverty, unemployment, the conservative government of Charles de Gaulle, and opposition to the Vietnam War, gave rise to a mass movement for sweeping social change. In the month of May, workers and students took to the streets in an unprecedented wave of strikes, walkouts and demonstrations. By May 18th, 10 million workers were on strike and all factories and universities were occupied. <laughs> French riot police attacked the occupied universities and workplaces, the rebellion turned violent. The initial police onslaughts were so heavy-handed that many joined the strikers in order to protest police brutality. A group of students called the Situationists were at the centre of the riots. Their approach combined subversive art and theory to encourage spontaneous action which would cast off the enforced passivity of consumer society. Their crusade against modern life was passionate and noble. Their banners held aloft, spelling out their dissatisfaction with the status quo. Culture was a corpse. Politics, a sideshow. The media, a limit on real communication. They believed that culture had been replaced by consumption and that people had been reduced to mere fragments, our potential only realised in alienated forms. Humanity had been globalised and social organisation had objectified the rich qualities of our everyday life. We now exist in a regimented world where modernisation, monopoly capitalism, technological development and the consumption of information are our new commandments. The situation is quit, but the workers slave to create the weapons that would ultimately be used against them. Many were worried about the nature of work under capitalism. A great part of the Paris uprising was a rebellion against the trap of alienated labour. They believed that work must be something more than mere drudgery carried out for a paycheck. <laughs> We are more oppressed than ever before. We live in a society of the spectacle, our consciousness dominated by the images of consumption. These images represent a social relationship amongst people, mediated by images. In a world that is deafened by the scream of consumer ambience, it becomes impossible to define anything. <laughs> The uprising of 68 was never anything more than that. It was quickly soaked up by the media, who turned it into mere news footage. It was doomed from the moment the cameras were focused upon the rioters. It could never be a full-scale revolution. Their struggle became nothing more than the repressive ambience that it was attempting to fight against, fated forever by its inclusion into the spectacle of consumption.
they failed, the battle was lost, and so are we. Thank you.